Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Well, if you're looking into lasers or you love lasers the way I do, you're in the right place. So like and subscribe and all that. I do videos on tips and tricks on which lasers are coming out and how to start, how to set up your business and make a small business out of using lasers. And I just, I love it. I wake up every day. This is what I want to talk about. So this is what we're doing. I just started this channel. I think I've been doing it for about four months. We're right at a thousand subscribers. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure most of you, when you see this, it'll be way past that. But for now, this is where we're at. So thank you. And I want to give a special shout out to the Laser Makers Realm. Uh, this is something they do a live stream every other Sunday. And they're basically talking about projects that you can do on your laser. And this is one of the main things I want to do with uh, this channel is build a community so that we can all help each other. I mean, that's what it's all about. We need more community. And hey, why not a great laser community? And uh, Rich over at Louisiana Hoppy Guy, I'm sure you all know who that is, uh, it invited me over and uh, we had a great talk. So Go over to Laser Maker's Realm, check that out. Uh, the other people involved, Hobo with Wood, so go over to his channel as well, and Light Source Engraving. Just another way to stay in the community and help each other with projects. That's something I, I wish to do here in the next few months with this channel as well, is to start uh, uh, probably on Fridays. Uh, something kind of like Friday Night Tights, but with lasers, so we can just sit around, answer questions, and talk about how to start and grow your small business with lasers. And that kind of leads me into the subject today, because if you are trying to not just have a hobby with this, but maybe start a small business, uh, and I've talked a lot about that in the past, and you, got, you can go through my videos and, and learn more about how to start your business, what's the best ways but which laser should you buy? And this has been something I've been looking into. You know, the, the diode lasers have been getting more and more powerful. And we don't know a lot about that. I mean, is this just a gimmick? I mean, you, you talk to Rich from Louisiana Hobby Guy, who has given me a lot of great advice. He's not really sold on these higher power diode lasers. They do have a larger spot. And so if you're doing intricate work or whatnot, maybe this isn't the best way to go. Um, I tend to want something between the 15 and 20 watt, I think, just because of I like to do more cutting than, say, fine engraving. But what I'm running into isn't the power issue so much as the quality issue. And it doesn't, there's so many players in the game now and they can't all survive. I, I really don't think there's that many people buying lasers for their home that we can have like 15 to 20 manufacturers or whatever spitting out lasers. Something has to give. And uh, I think this race to more power is maybe some ways for laser companies to say, hey, I'm going to be one of the ones that are in there. But what about quality? And, you know, Rich from Louisiana Hobby Guy, once again, he did a video the other day about this Rolly Lasermatic 10. And I instantly, I hadn't even thought that a company would do something like this. To, instead of going for more power, to just go with a quality machine. And I remember I, I had the Jinmitsu LC40 and it had linear bearings. And I didn't understand why all of the companies didn't do that. I mean, they're just so, it just seems so much better, like a no brainer that it's just going to be, have more consistency. And then I keep looking at what they put into this machine. You got a honeycomb bed, you've got an air assist, you've got a rotary, you've got everything already in this machine, the way that you want it. And it was, it was for a thousand dollars. Right. And you could buy just the machine for less, but really this deal with everything is just, it was unbelievable. It's so, it seemed like such a machine that you could use for a small business. And that's really all you would need. Maybe you've got a K40, uh, you know, 40 watt diode for doing acrylic. But other than that, I mean, this thing is going to take care of probably all your needs for 
a small business. It has a camera in it. The honeycomb bed is set. It has little risers that it fits into so it doesn't move. So that means everything is just going to be aligned and you're going to be able to look at your camera and go, that's where the material goes. I'm going to do this cut. If it gets interrupted, which, you know, is a nightmare for my machine. If it gets interrupted, forget it. There's no way I'm getting it back to the space that it was. It's just very inconsistent. And I have a, uh, you know, or tour laser master three. It's, it's fine. I mean, it was a decent price for a pretty good laser, but for running a small business that you want consistency, you want that thing to work every time and to be precise. And uh, this just seemed like such a better answer for uh, what I want to do. And so I had actually re reached out to Rolly to say, hey, you know, I'd really like to try this, but of course they sold out immediately. So hopefully in another month or so, I'll be able to get one of these and show it to you all and they will come out with more. But I do recommend you go over to LA Hobby Guy. And uh, of course, if you're not signed up and then go check out his video on the Rolly Lasermatic 10. I mean, if you are in the market for a laser, I really want to support quality. And maybe there's some other machines out there that will also uh, come up to this quality. But I would like to support small business. This is a smaller company and it is a new item and I want it to support that quality. So uh, yeah, go over there, check out that video. One of the things that I'll say is the downsides that I can already see is, you know, you're stuck with a 400 by 400 bed. I mean, that's, that's what you got. If you even had an extension, it's going to take quite a bit because the honeycomb bed, you know, has its own space. So it's, I think this is going to take quite a bit to be able to change. Now, for most work that you do, especially if you're making coasters, keychains, small items, wallets like I am, for making what I do right now, these uh, leather wallets, which I just think the diode is perfect for, this would be a godsend. Uh, so, But I just wanted to mention what the negatives that I could come up with. Um, it does have a rotary, and the way the rotary is set up is just perfect. You know, again, because it sits in a certain spot and you know where it is, you're not going to have to do a lot of calibration. And this is the thing I don't really like about using a rotary is just all the work that goes into setting it up. And it makes you not even want to do it unless you're going to do a whole bunch of them. But it does not have a chuck style, and I prefer the chuck style. And I think that was go that's going to be very difficult to make for this laser. So if you are going to do a lot of rotary work, I can't say it isn't a good one. I mean, obviously, Ellie Hobby Guy did a, did a video the other day about the Ortur chuck style one. That looked really nice. So maybe that's an advantage there. Another disadvantage is it's not available right now. You're probably going to have to wait a month or two. I think towards the end of each month is when they're going to come out with another batch. So keep an eye on that. And uh, then it's 10 watt. I mean, that's going to be great for some people. Maybe a 15 or 20, maybe more of my sweet spot, but I'm going to wait to see. But at least for doing the leather that I'm doing right now, 10 watt is perfectly fine. And the earrings and things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm making a lot of that stuff right now. So... But it is nice to have that ability to do other stuff if you wish to. But I, I'm just kind of in love with this thing right now. And uh, I really hope I get a chance to check one out soon. And then, you know, I, I'm going to let you know the good and the bad. And uh, that's all I can say about that. So thanks, everybody, for uh, getting me to the thousand subs. And uh, we'll start a live stream soon. And uh, appreciate you being here. Love you all.